All right, Hollywood, we have to have a talk. Because what the fuck, what are we doing here? Now, as you read the title, of course, today we're gonna be talking about Shogun. Now, if you don't know what Shogun is, it is a brand new show based on a novel that came out in 1975, which is written by James Clavell. It's a novel that takes place in Japan in the year 1600 and follows the story of this man, Lura Toranaga, and this ensuing civil war that is brewing in Japan. We follow a bunch of different characters, including Anjin San, you know, the main guy of the show who's kind of this uh, uh, English man who has stumbled across across Japan, it is the eyes of the audience seeing the kingdoms of Japan and the culture for the first time as we are. Characters like Lady Mariko, who sort of has a love story with Anjin and all this stuff that's going on there. And it's just an insanely political story that kind of becomes this weird real-life Game of Thrones set in Japan. Now, based on the novel, we've had the TV show that it aired earlier in this year, and if you've seen my review for it, you know that I loved it. By the end of this year, when I am ranking through the best shows of the year and I make my list, the best TV shows of 2024, you can bet your ass that that is going to be near the top of the list. It is one of the best things we've gotten in quite some time from that style of television. But Shogun, the whole entire time that, you know, we were watching it and viewing it, it was sold to us and the audience and to everybody as a miniseries. It's adapting a book that is a singular story, and it's going to adapt the entire book, start to finish, and finish the story of Shogun. And that's exactly what it did. Shogun ends in a place which really solidifies the story and makes it so you do not need to see anymore. But of course, we've had breaking news that there is going to be a Shogun Season 2 and a Season 3. They have both been greenlit and announced, and the actor that plays Toranaga-san is coming back to play that character yet again, meaning it is a continuation of the story and not just another Japanese style story set in a different time period. Now, of course, I have, I have a lot of problems with this. This, to me, is fucking ridiculous. And here's why. Like I just said before, Shogun is adapting a novel, a novel that had a beginning and an ending, right? This is a show that had a beginning and an ending, a show that told the story of these characters and ended in a spot that made it very, very, very clear that we did not need to go forward with the story. In fact, the entire purpose of the ending, the entire purpose of the structure of how the third act of that final episode plays out, how the information is given to you, the visions we see of the future, everything that's going on, is insinuating that we, the audience, do not need to see what happens next, because in fact, we already know what happens next. The game is clear. Toranaga had played this chess game to perfection, and we know how it's going to play out. There is no more book to be adapted. There is nothing else to be adapted and translated into reality. So what is Shogun Season 2, and why is Shogun Season 2 and Season 3 happening? Well, it's a very complex answer, and you have to be a, a scholarly person to really come to the heart of this answer as to why, you know, they are producing more seasons of this television show. It's very complex, and it's not an easy thing to answer, but I'm gonna try to do it in one word. Money! Money, baby! That's why they're doing it. Because they had a successful show, and instead of sitting there and saying, guys, we made something great, these guys are producers, are showrunners, they did an amazing job, they made something incredible, that's one of the best things we've seen on our television station on Hulu in years, it is a masterpiece, now let's go make something else and try to do it again with new characters and new worlds. No, 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 that would be too difficult. They said, you know what? Let's make more. And I cannot imagine a studio doing this. This never happens in Hollywood. Like, God, let me let me go through a few franchises that actually did the opposite, that never decided to continue making more stuff, even though they, they probably shouldn't have. I don't know, what about Star Wars? Like, that ended at the perfect spot, thank God. You have Jurassic Park, another series that just ended perfectly. They definitely did not drag that on too much, you know, too long for money. <laughs> the MCU, you know, that one definitely didn't go on. Oh, God. <laughs> How about Joker? Okay, well, that one's up to be. We'll, we'll, we'll debate that one later this year. But you see what I'm saying? Hollywood is in this weird space nowadays where they, they just keep making sequels and continuations of things. More seasons, more sequels, more stuff. And we've kind of lost the ability to sit back and said, we have done enough. We have told the story, and that's it. Leave it be. And Shogun is just a perfect example of that, of this situation where you have this story that's complete. You don't need to go on, and now they are choosing to go on because it was successful. And to me, that is just wrong, and it is something that is breaking Hollywood within these superhero movies that we've seen countless sequels, and finally we're starting to see the audiences finally revolting against that, and these movies are bombing. You've had a billion Star Wars movies, you've had a billion Jurassic Park movies, Terminator movies, all these freaking franchises that should have ended years ago and they just keep going and going and going and going because Hollywood believes the names, these names will make them money. Instead of creating new stuff, we bring back the old stuff and that 
is just, it, it's like a disease in Hollywood. No, no, you're still holding on. Let go. And it's not everything. There are some shows, there are some things that are very successful and they knew when to stop, even if it felt like it was short. Perfect example, Succession. What a show. Succession is arguably a top three television show of all time. The ratings were good. It was winning Emmys. It was winning Golden Globes. It is arguably the most, you know, decorated show I have ever seen in my life when it comes to award seasons. And you know what they said? They could have went and done season four, five, six, seven, eight. They could have kept this thing going going on forever and dragged it out and it would have ended up being shit but instead they said no we're gonna end it at four and it makes me it breaks my fucking heart every day <laughs> thinking that it's over and that we're not getting more but it ended and it told the story to the perfect length that it needed to be and that's fucking it we don't need any more game of thrones <laughs> ended at the perf I'm fucking around. Breaking Bad, right? Breaking Bad could have went six, seven, eight, nine, ten seasons, but they decided to go five and then make six bonus prequel seasons with Better Call Saul. Better Call Saul gets a pass because it's freaking fantastic, so that's okay. And I just want to say, maybe Shogun Season 2 and Season 3 will end up being absolutely incredible. Maybe this will end up being one of the greatest TV series of all times, because maybe Season 2 and Season 3 will live up to Season 1, but it is a tall hill to climb because of how good Season 1 was and how Season 1 finished the damn story. Imagine the night after Cody Rhodes beat Roman Reigns, he came out on Raw and continued to say, I need to finish the story, I need to beat Roman Reigns again. I think everybody would say, that's fucking stupid. I have to finish the story. Shut up, bitch. Because you just finished the story. Now we need a different story. We need unique new matchups. We don't want just Cody and Roman again. And that's what I feel like we're getting here. And that's what I feel like Hollywood keeps giving to us, which is why I'm frustrated and why I'm making this freaking video, because it's so stupid that this is happening. And yet again, I think everybody involved in this show is clearly extremely talented. So there is a high possibility that this could end up being a success. But at the same time, why can't we just let good things be good things? Why do we have to milk them for everything? Why can't we take Money out of film! I'm kidding. Obviously, that, that'll never happen. Money is what makes film. But God, we need to get back to a, a, a day and age where both storytelling and artistry and money can get along and we could have things that are great and people love and people could also make money on it. And not people need to make money, so let's just milk everything and ruin it like they did to Star Wars. Like they're doing to The Walking Dead. I mean, how many freaking spinoff shows do we need? We got the Rick show. That's it. We're done. I'm kidding. I love The Walking Dead. Let's make like 20 more shows. But stop with the pointless sequels. Stop bringing more seasons of TV shows that don't need more seasons. Just stop. Stop with it all. Make new shit. New shit is good good shit. Like, just ask Shogun Season 1. That was new shit, and it's good shit. This is such good shit. Old shit? You know, recycled shit? Taking shit and trying to put it, you know, make it look nice, garnish it a little bit with some parsley, and you put it on, like, a, a top of, like, an ice cream? It's still old shit. It's old shit, and nobody wants it. It smells like crap, and it usually ends up bad. So stop. Make some new shit. Some new warm poops. That's the video, guys. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you think of Shogun Season 2 down below. Make sure to like and subscribe for more. I'll see you guys in the next one.